Hello everyone, my name is Dianisa Khoyerum Sandy. Here I would like to present our research with the title of Synthesis of Barium Titanate or BT Ceramic using co-precipitation and solid-state reaction method with sintering temperature variation. These are our outlines. Ferroelectric is attractive electrical material that has a spontaneous electric, uh, electric polarization even without applying an electric field. This material has high hysteresis properties, high dielectric constant, polarizability, pyroelectricity, and piezoelectricity. Those properties are important in various devices such as multi-layer ceramic capacitor, dynamic random access memory, and etc. Barium titanate or BT is one of the ferroelectric material that has been widely exploited for academic and technological purposes because it has high dielectric constant, low current temperature, and low dielectric loss. The synthesis method plays an important role in the vinyl properties of the material since the microstructure, morphology, particle size, and phase composition are dependent on it. Fabrication of BT usually employ Synthesis methods such as the conventional solid state reaction and chemical methods such as co precipitation. These two methods are cost effective, easy to prepare uh, with control stoichiometry, and can be conducted at room temperature. Therefore, this study is to investigate the synthesis of. Uh, of PT using solid state reaction compared to co precipitation method from the side of the microstructure, morphology, and dielectric properties. We further do variation of sintering temperature from 900 degrees Celsius to 1200 degrees Celsius to observe the effects on the properties. These were the materials and tools required during the study. For the co precipitation procedure, First, the oxalic acid and titanium tetrabutoxide were dissolved separately in isopropanol. They were mixed uh, to form oxalotitanic acid. Then, barium hydroxide uh, that had been dissolved uh, in isopro isopropanol was added to this solution by continuously stirring with a magnetic stirrer. Then, the distilled water was added to this solution. The vinyl solution was selected for 24 hours to get a precipitate solution of BT. Then the precipitate solution was hydrolyzed at 100 degrees Celsius for 5 hours to get uh, the BT powder. Then the BT powder were, uh, was pressed and sintered at various sintering temperature from 900 degrees Celsius to 1200 degrees Celsius for 4 hours and a heating rate of 10 degrees Celsius per minute to get the BT ceramic. For solid-state reaction procedure, this method was carried out by mixing and milling this material in a mortar for 8 hours to get the BT powder. And then the powder was pressed and sintered at 900 degrees Celsius uh, to, 100 to, uh, to 1200 degrees Celsius to get the BT ceramic. Next, the sintered BT Ceramic uh, was then characterized using XRD to determine the crystal structure. The density of the bulk ceramic was measured by its mass per volume, and then the and the morphology of the ceramic was examined by SEM, and the dielectric constant was measured using LCL meter. Figure one shows the diffraction pattern of BT from co-precipitation and solid state reaction at different sintering temperature. According to the figure, both PT from co-precipitation and solid state reaction are in good agreement with ICDD database number which shows a tetragonal perovskite of PT. However, there is the presence of impurity put from PT from co-precipitation and solid state reaction uh, in which uh, the impurities uh, are belong to this material, uh, which is according to accord ICDD database. Next, uh, as seen in Figure One A, we can see that the higher sintering temperature could reduce the intensity of the impurity and finally uh, remove the impurity uh, above the temperature of one thousand degrees Celsius. 
Uh, meanwhile, for figure 1b, for Bt from solid state reaction, the intensity of the impurity was very low. So, when the impurity can be totally removed, uh, start from 1000 degrees Celsius. It is indicated that the high sintering temperature could remove the impurity of the material. Next, the extraction of XRD pattern into the crystal structure uh, can be uh, can be presented in table one from co-precipitation and table two from uh, solid state reaction. Here we can see that the lattice parameter volume cell tetragonality of Pt from co-precipitation are different uh, with Pt from solid state reaction. However, we can see that the crystalline size in here the value are relatively close uh, in which the crystalline size increase with increasing sintering temperature and the largest crystalline size uh, was obtained at the temperature of 1200 degrees Celsius. Figure to show the morphology of the PT from co-precipitation and different sintering temperature. The inset picture of the figure 2 show the, magnific the magnification at the scale of uh, one point uh, uh, the at the scale of 500 nanometer or 0.5 micrometer according to figure 2 uh, the grains of the bt ceramic uh, agglomerate in here we can see agglomerate forming a huge size particle of more than 5 micrometer here the sintering temperature affect the agglomeration process and the density of bt from precipitation in which the high sintering temperature fuses the agglomerated particle and producing a dense ceramic. This can be seen from uh, figure 2e that percent the value of the, de the density of the PT from co-precipitation that increase with increasing sintering temperature. Next, the SEM images for PT from solid state reaction are shown in figure 3. Here we can see that the grain of PT from solid state reaction are clearly appear. Uh, we can see there are agglomeration occur, especially at the temperature of 900 degrees Celsius, 1000 degrees Celsius, and 1200 degrees Celsius. And moreover, based on figure 3, we can also see that uh, the BT from solid state uh, contain more porous uh, or void compared to BT from uh, from co-precipitation. This result indicates that the density of BT uh, from solid state is less than BT from co-precipitation. Co uh, figure 3e uh, show the density value of BT from solid state is fluctuated with increasing sintering temperature. This is consistent with the SEM image in which we can see that the PT at 1100 uh, contain more void or porous as compared to the other uh, to the other more for, uh, to the other example. The so that uh, it makes uh, the PT at 1100 have the lowest density. However, this sample has relatively uniform size particle distributed among the other uh, ceramics. Furthermore, the Bt from co-precipitation is denser than Bt from solid state uh, because the agglomeration in co-precipitation is easily occur. It is as a result of chemical co-precipitation process in the fabrication which could produce a relatively fine particle as compared to mechanically uh, solid state reaction so that it can produce a denser ceramic. Figure, uh, figure 4a is the graph of the electric constant as a function of frequencies at the uh, at, uh, at the temperature of 1200 1, degrees Celsius, here we can see that the dielectric constant or dielectric permittivity decreases uh, with increasing sintering temperature. Figure 4b uh, is the dielectric permittivity of the uh, Bt ceramic as a function of sintering temperature. Here we can see that the dielectric permittivity increases with increasing sintering temperature. Uh, we can also hear that the dielectric permittivity 
of Bt from co-precipitation is higher than the Bt from solid state reaction and the highest was achieved at a temperature of 1200 degrees Celsius. The dielectric constant of material is affected by impurity, defect, um, metastasis density, porosity, inhomogeneous morphology, and non-uniform grain distribution. Uh, overall, in here, uh, the higher density, uh, the higher dielectric permittivity by Pt from co-precipitation co than Pt from solid state uh, could be um, depend on the agglomerated particles that improve the density and reduce the porosity of the ceramic. And the, in which the density and the porosity is affected by the fabrication and sintering process. Moreover, the less porosity could be uh, could uh, reduce loss dielectric that indicate an improvement in dielectric property. Thus, based on this study, we can uh, we can conclude that the co precipitation, even it required a higher sintering temperature to gain pure Bt, but it is better to employ to fabricate Bt since the microstructure, morphology, and dielectric constant obtained are better than that of solid state. Thank you everyone.